Hi, welcome to Whiskey Johnny Reviews. I'm Johnny. Today we have for you Heaven's Door. Now this is a line that Bob Dylan, the singer, and Spirits Investment Partnership, Chicago-based company that handles branding of different uh, whiskeys for people, uh, they work together to release this. Uh, this is their standard line here. You have Tennessee straight bourbon, a double barrel, and a straight rye. Today we're going to do the straight bourbon. Just a little uh, brief history about Heaven's Door. Uh, Bob Dylan, he wanted to originally call it bootleg whiskey, but due to uh, taking advice from SIP, he decided to go with Heaven's Door. They didn't want to associate bootleg, which was, I guess, considered a little more lower class, I guess, moonshine, uh, with what their vision was, which is uh, elevated premium whiskey. That's what they're going for here. Uh, the gates here, you see, are images of metal working that Dylan himself did. He's pretty big into metal work and now he's into whiskey. So we're going to try out the straight bourbon. The mash bill on this comes in at 70% corn and 30% malted barley and rye, but they don't really disclose the exact percentages for the malted barley or the rye. So it's kind of not exact. So it is six years old and I believe comes in at 90 proof. So, and this is distilled in Tennessee and bottled in Tennessee but not from same place because right now Heaven's Door is a sourced whiskey. There's nothing wrong with that. So we look at color. Color comes in at a good gold. Pretty nice. Some thin legs. Now this is, uh, they're putting out as, there's not an age statement, but they do say it is six years. A little bit of caramel, a little bit of vanilla, the baking spices, so them classic bourbon notes. Mm. This is a bit of a uh, Uh, acetone uh, nosing it's real real mild though a little bit of citrus we'll go in for a taste All right, so we got a uh, creamy caramel, light molasses, a little bit of dark fruits, 
Uh, the mouth feels dry. It tingles in the back of the throat. A little bit warming, but it's not like a, it's not a spice bomb or anything. Uh, go for another nose. All right, so that creamy vanilla, that's right there. A vanilla bean. Uh, little bit of raisin. We'll go for another sip. So not really too oaky. A little bit of oak spice, but not much. It's not really tannic. It's pretty decent balanced. It's pretty nice uh, coating on the mouth feel. Mm, it's not really watery, but I wouldn't say that it was uh, a heavy viscosity. It's kind of somewhere in between there. So this I could see being able to sip on it. Well, the flavors are a classic bourbon, but just a little different. A little bit of sweet honey right there. Mm. So that's pretty nice. On a scale of one to five, I'd probably give it about a, probably about a four. I think there's a few things maybe that could be a little better, but I don't make whiskey, I just drink it. So everybody's got an opinion, right? Uh, it is a decent whiskey though. Definitely worth checking out, trying. I'm pretty excited to try these other two in coming up videos. So this one, it's pretty good. I wouldn't need to mix this, but if say I was in a mood, uh, I'd probably put it in a highball. Those are pretty good and sometimes the flavors, they get, of course, watered down. But I think this, it's not too dominant that you couldn't drink it neat. And coming in at 90 proof, it's not high at all. So there's not a lot of the alcohol burn there. But I think it would hold up well enough in a highball with the added uh, carbonated water, tonic water, whatever you use, that uh, you'd still get the flavors of it. So, either way, it's a decent whiskey, coming in at a four, and I would say definitely worth checking out. So, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and until next time, cheers.